so welcome to our first Dear Kimberly. Um, I'm really excited. I have notes to go over. And our first Dear Kimberly is going to be about breakouts. It's the question I get the most, like how do you treat a breakout? So um, I've done a tutorial on my Instagram that really explains how I treat a monthly breakout. There's many different types of acne. Um, I currently have one right there that I'm treating. Um, sorry for the lipstick and getting so close. I'm learning to deal with makeup and humidity and I was so excited to get like dressed up today. So if it looks, I'm learning. So let's learn together, let's be kind. All right, so if you didn't watch my tutorial, yes. I know everybody sings the praises of salicylic acid. There's nothing wrong with salicylic acid at all. I think it's great for blackheads. It's a follicular cleanser. It's, it's awesome. It can help to kill bacteria. But when you've got that one that you feel before you see it, which I call the phantom pain, um, you need to be using um, something that kills the bacteria and cuts the swelling. So, um, unless you're allergic, okay? And you would know if you have an allergy and there's an alternative to that allergy, okay? So we'll go into that too. So I love, because when I first started, I worked um, for a little while with a line called Jam Marini. Um, I worked somewhere that had Jam Marini. I did not work at Jam Marini. Um, but I think she's a really intelligent person. She was like one of the pioneers in glycolic, empty formulations, and Jan Marini. She's really fascinating. Um, but she sung the praises of this type of breakout with benzoyl peroxide, okay? I will use any benzoyl peroxide there is. I don't have like a love-hate relationship. The higher, do I think it's better? No. Um, I just, what happened was I was in a pinch on a trip once and I went to the drugstore, I want to say 12 years ago, something like that. And I found this and you can even see beauty editors talk about this. Jenna Renner talks about this. Like she uses this. I mean, it's pretty good. It's fine. Do what I use every single thing from Clean and Clear? No. But that doesn't mean they're a bad line. I mean, I just don't want to get into these politics of things. But, okay, so here is my trick. Because I'm on day one. I just got this yesterday, okay? So, um, I, and I'll put the tutorial right here. And then you can also go watch it on my Instagram as well. And then um, it'll play right here. And then after I talk today, I'll finish with the tutorial too. So you can have it here as well. Um, I think it's just important to see like a different perspective. That does not mean that you have to do it, okay? So um, I call it the phantom pain. All my clients know I call it the phantom pain. Electrolytes emergency. It's like when you feel it, but you don't see it yet. That is when I start treating it. Okay, I learned this tip from makeup artists because they, when I started working more in Los Angeles, we had to work with makeup artists and get people ready for set and it's harder to um, cover texture than really like redness, okay? So we had to devise something. So what we devised, or I devised at that time, um, I don't know why I say we, uh, is I, because I had this makeup artist who was having these problems and I was like, you know, what, let me find a bunch of different things because like I get my monthly breakout. I mean, like we can't stop mother nature. I mean, she's, she's a vicious lady till forever, to be honest. Um, especially for ladies, just saying. Um, but, or anyone hormonally, you know, transitioning, etc. So, um, but, Benzoyl peroxide is amazing. So what I learned to do, because I tried a bunch of different stuff. I tried the salicylic, I tried everything, I tried layering, I tried it all, okay? You cleanse at night, it's super simple. Don't be crazy, don't exfoliate, don't put like retinol on. 
you don't tone with some crazy toner, okay? We don't wanna, excuse my French, piss us off. We want this to heal, okay? So then we put on a moisturizer. Now you'll see in one of my tutorials, like I switch it around. Um, so I've like tried the Lala Whipped with it. I think I've tried the Ultra Facial Cream. Um, when my skin was really irritated, I've tried the Ultra Repair Cream. I love this. When people are having issues, this is like a non-steroidal sister, in my opinion, to cortisone. I recommend this for a lot of people so um, that are having issues. And we'll talk about another um, tip and trick down the line with that as well. But um, read your skin, okay? So then you'll see like obviously in the video above me right here how I dot it on, okay? I leave it for about 10, 15 minutes, let it dry because it will bleach your stuff. I haven't had issues with this, but the old school stuff would ruin everything. So better to be safe than sorry if you love your stuff. That's what I tell everybody. So, um, okay, I'm trying to look at my notes. Do not layer this over acne products. You will burn your face. Please don't use salicylic if you're gonna try this, okay? Please don't over treat it. Two to three days max. If it looks good after two days, please stop. Let it heal. Pink is good if it's flat. If you feel, if you're touching it, I tell clients this all the time, and you feel like something's under there, but topically it looks great, it is healing. Think of it like a horrible, horrible contusion. Like, like if you fell down a flight of stairs and your knee hit something, You'd have swelling and the top wizards look better, but you'd have like that swelling underneath. It's the same thing. It's just a compact space. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, don't over treat, okay? And especially after the two to three days, all TLC products, okay? Because you want it to now heal. The reason we put it over the moisturizer is to buffer it, okay? So it won't get that little ring, which is harder for a makeup artist to cover, right? So like, I'm a little bum. It's not too bad. Like, it's doable. I go to work. Like, clients will be like, oh, she's normal. You know? Um, but that's pretty much what I want to teach you about how to treat, how I treat a breakout. And I teach a lot of my clients for the monthly breakout. Now, I don't want you smothering benzoyl peroxide all over your face. Okay? I don't want you going crazy. If you have a couple of these, which is normal, I see a lot of you and you do, you just stop them. Okay? But, and one might be one day, one might be two days. But if it looks better and it's pretty flat, it's fine. Pink is good, that's healthy cells trying to rebuild, okay? I know you guys hate this, but unless it's gone brown or white, that's when you really need to worry. And once you get clear, then we can start talking about all the stuff for like scarring. A lot of stuff I see on the internet, which is awesome, I'm just so excited that people are like into skincare, but they tend to be over treating like way over treating and we love to have fun but when you have a lot going on you're going to cause a lot more inflammation and acne is an inflammatory response so like externally and internally so that goes to my other thing on here i'm here to help remember i'm offering these free consultations to you right now so that you can um take advantage of this gift that I want to give back. You don't have to buy anything from me. It's just me helping you. I think I've helped about six or seven people. I've got three right now that I'm going to start working on today and tomorrow. It's really been enjoyable. I don't want to bring anybody on yet. I don't know if the Dear Kimberly is going to evolve into that. We'll see. If someone wants to be part of it, game. But I have a lot of questions to answer, so maybe, dear, that won't come for a little bit. But you'll get to see some really fun stuff with me and some other things. Um, also, I have some empties that I just finished. Everybody loves, like, my bestie got me so into this empty thing. Like, I love finishing stuff. She knows that. Like, it's, And then, like, I guess there's a whole empties crew on the internet. So, um, face cleanser never stays in my house. It just never does. I love this. I think if you want like a better Cetaphil, if you're like anti CeraVe, Cetaphil, whatever, this is pretty good. My opinion. Um, I like this moisturizer. 
I'm pretty sure my bestie loves it and she has acne. My husband loves this, steals it. I have like two more of these because they just came in every Sephora box, which I'm so sad about Sephora play ending. Like I'm so sad. But my bestie loves this and I've been using these, so that's an empty. Um, uh, what have I been playing with? I like this Ren Mineral Sunscreen. It's pretty cool. And I'm gonna, eventually, a Dear Kimberly is gonna be all about SPF because you guys got a lot of opinions. And I think that's great. I, I wanna hear your opinions, but I, want, I just want you to hear mine too. But that's cool. Um, and then I, I was sent this, okay, but I won a contest. <laughs> that I didn't even know I entered. Um, long story, and I'll probably try to post that video if I can eventually. Um, but I am allergic to a lot of scent. So like, I think I've talked about how I use like this one from Shop Intuition and, um, oop, that popped open. It's cause we're the move. But this um, Junk Elephant one doesn't smell so much. Oh my gosh, I always do this inside a Sephora. Do you ever do that? Oh my gosh. And then you're like, ha ha, I'm so cute. I'm like, I'm an idiot. But my skin has gotten so dry I have to put my shower filter. Shower filters are important. Um, I have become like, I itch. Like, I don't know if it's the water, but there's moisture in there. I'm confused. I'm learning learning about Mississippi. I also have a tutorial coming about press on nails. Okay, this is gonna go like crazy. I could, I already know. I've tried nail polish, gels, this, everything, okay? To be an esthetician. I like to look nice when I go to work. I grew up with my mom as a hairstylist. I'm sorry, it's ingrained in me. I think everybody should do you. Having my nails done, really important. Going and sitting there, hard for me now with my anxiety, okay? But, I did my, I could do my own gels, I learned to do that after I had my daughter. Um, I learned to do all kinds of, I'm, I'm pretty crafty. I'm like a rock and roll Martha Stewart, you know? So, um, I do have a tutorial on how to do this. Look how long they were, okay? And how to make them not long. And then I would definitely trim them more like to clean people, okay? And then I'll have some other fun ones and stuff, okay? So I think that's important. Um, I have a lot of consultations coming up. Facial Friday will be all about VI peel, the pre to the last Facial Friday. So you'll get to see the peeling and all the fun stuff and how the process is. Sorry, I can't move my hair, but I'm getting used to like the humidity. And it gets a little sticky when I have like this little cute fan that my father in law gave me. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's like priceless. Okay. And then let's do a question. And then I want to just talk for a second. So, let's roll the dice. Oh god. Okay, I'm not good at this. Five. What is your favorite SPF? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know that right now. It's the Dennis Gross one. The, I post it all the time. It's my favorite one right now. Like, I hate sharing it with them because I don't trust them. They use all my stuff. But it's so good. For me, the hydration, like, it gives you kind of like a dewy thing. This one's a little more, like, matte. And when I talk to you guys about consultations, just so you know, like, to go off on the side with that, is um, I ask you like preferences, like, cause I know that skincare is psychological. Like I'm not an idiot. You can see like the weather changes so quick here. Isn't it kind of cool? I don't know, I'm enjoying this change for a moment. So let's get to that. So I posted um, a story, got a lot of response and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna post it as like a post on my Instagram too, which is good, but I posted a story about um, trusting your gut and a lot of people were, uh, not a lot, but like uh, people I was surprised by were a little negative about the move. And then there, there were actually more supporters than not. Um, 
but since I've been here, I think I needed a break. I love LA, I'm coming back. I mean, like once school can resume and like all the stuff, you know, um, I've been given this gift. My father-in-law really needs us. It's been hard, you know? Um, you should see what he gets sent. I mean, I don't know if you guys, I said much, but my mother-in-law unfortunately passed right before we got here. So um, that was a, another reason we were coming. And um, it's really become a team. He needed us and we needed him. So I just wanna say like, trust your gut. Like I knew I needed to come here. I knew he needed us. I knew they needed us. I hoped to make it in time. It didn't work out, but. Um, and we're all healing from so many things in life together. So my point is like kind of rolls into, maybe this is my time. <laughs> I was talking to my friend the other day I've known since we worked in music together, because I worked at a recording studio. And I trust his opinion, like, above a lot of people. Like, not above, like, my husband, but he's known me longer than my husband. And we grew up together, went through a lot together. Like, think about your 20s, if you're around my age. You're probably in your 20s, <laughs> um, But a lot of experiences. And um, such a good friend, love him to death, like love him to death. And I said, maybe this is my time to shine, you know, like I've always had fun hair and been funny and kind of goofy and didn't want to wear like the smock and look too like perfect. And I, I, I wanted to admit my flaws and laugh and make people happy. Um, maybe this is my time to shine. You know, like look at looks by Lexington or um, Rosie Bean. Uh, Break up with your breakout. Uh, skin positivity movement. Renee Rouleau has been really amazing. Thank you. Um, look at Los Angeles. Like how cool is that? I guess there's a podcast I should listen to where the girl like talks, is a comedian, talks about beauty and skin. It's on my list. I can't wait to tell you about all the podcasts I'm kind of listen to and there's so many good ones um los angeles with the rain that renee Rouleau, please listen to it's so important especially when we're talking about all of this today there's a whole community out there and he was like oh you'll build an empire which is like such a weird thing for him to say because i love him he's just like so like anti the man you know but it was really cute and i said i don't want to build an empire he's like don't get mad i'm like oh i hope i didn't like he didn't sound like that. It's very manly. Um, I said, I want to build a community, like of people that need help and help them, and because that's when I feel my best. I'm getting like mushy. What the heck's up with me? It's this whole like pandemic and like this whole thing. I want to build a community. If that community affords me to have like a basic house and give back to all the people who have helped me. And the dream, my daughter and I have like this dream. My husband wants to do it too. He's just, he's not as goofy like a daydreamer as we are. Um, where we wanna live in different towns for a month um, and just try them out. Like we've always wanted to go to Salem, Massachusetts. We met these really amazing girls that live there. And I've never been to Boston, and we want to go to um, Connecticut because we love Gilmore Girls. And, um, you know, we've never been to all kinds of things, so there's just so many cool adventures. If that could afford my adventures one day, sure, okay. But if it's just a community to help people for now, I don't care about that either. I just feel like I found a tribe and for a long time I didn't have one you know like I was kind of like this funky cool little girl who my advice was fun and interesting but it was like 
No one wanted to take pictures or put me in front. Nothing wrong with that. Not mad. No negativity, okay? It's just things change. Life changes. Look. Look at Nick's. I tell my daughter, when I was a kid, the ad campaign never, ever, ever would have been someone who's trans or anything. I mean, RuPaul's Drag Race, that's amazing. Sorry, I get a little, I got emotional, maybe that was wrong. But like, but you sit around and you say, sorry, this world isn't changing. It's slowly changing. It's not changing fast enough for the right people, but it's slowly changing. Because my kid who's sitting in there doing school, she's gonna do big things, good things. And those kids are gonna change this world. We gotta take care of them. So, that's really all I gotta say. I got all, woo. Let's get back, let's roll one more. Let's get back to having fun, okay? Four. All right, where do you purchase your beauty products most? Easy. Where do you think I purchase them most? Well, yeah. Okay, so I have two, because I'm cheap. Wait a minute. I'd rather have more stuff. Um, number one, Sephora, because everything's there. And then Nanny's, because I have a license for salon centric. Um, sorry, I told you I get emotional. I don't know what's happening. People will see this and be like, whoa, who is that girl? Um, but pretty much Namie's is like the bomb. It's in LA. Like you are in Coves there or Bay. Like, um, skincare, they have a good amount, but not the fun ones you guys are kind of playing with. And I need to like know what you guys are doing. I just have to. How can I help you? I have to, I have to try these to know what you're doing. So I wish there was some program for us. I wish there was. So we could because like, that's what you guys are using. I mean, people give me a lot of junk for not like, is clinical in this. I'm not wealthy. Like if you want to send it to me, yay, I'd be dope to try it. I've tried it, I've played with it. Um, but a lot of things are given to me because of where I've worked before or friends I have that work at those companies or um, work in beauty in some way. So I, I'm just being honest, like none of this is promotable. Like it's just like, hey, yo, or like we exchange stuff. Like she loves that, I love this, I wanna try this. A lot of us do that. So um, yeah, I'm so sad that the Sephora Playbox died. It, it it was a savior, but I love Sephora favorites boxes. I buy those a lot because all the minis I can really try. Um, and then I have clients that help me out. If you want to be real, I use my clients' as references all the time. My clients are my biggest champions. They are my biggest research. I love them. And you know what? I admit it when I don't know something. I admit it when I'm wrong. I think that's one of the beauty, biggest things. Oh my God, can you see? By the way, I don't know if I've addressed it this whole time. That is not a breakout. I got bit by some bug. It is massive, but I'm gonna have a video to treat it and I did some awesome work on this thing because woes up when you see what it was. Also, I forgot. I promised you I was gonna talk about these little dots here. These are called sebaceous cysts, okay? Let me write that out for you if you want to look it up, okay? Please don't get carried away. I tell people not to look up a lot. Everybody gets at least one. 
They usually have to be zapped off. Spaciousness. Okay. Um, and then why am I not doing Botox right now? Because you can't safely. Like, I mean, you can, but I feel like I can't right now safely. And most of you can't safely. So why? I'm going to stand with you. And then when it becomes time, I'm going to show you the before and afters. And that's cool. You're just going to have to deal with my asymmetric, my like, not symmetrical base because of my brain surgery and stuff. I mean, this side's way lifted and this one needs some help. Um, and Botox really helps out. But I think that's cool. You guys will learn a lot about that. Um, I didn't do Botox until I was 35. I'm 40. Um, I'm 40 and a half, I guess. A little over 40. Almost 41. Um, and yeah. So that's what I'm kind of doing with that. And the same with my hair. I have my hair color. It's not safe, really, for you to be getting your hair done sometimes. I mean, if the person comes to your house and has been quarantining and all that stuff. I think it's good. The salon thing, I don't know. I'm sorry. I live with a doctor, uh, a retired doctor, who also had a big part in the Katrina um, Astrodome. So I uh, believe he works for the CDC as a master's in public health. So I don't think he influences all of my things, but he does a little bit. And um, being that's why they put you outside. It's the circulated air. Because I was saying like, oh, I'm so sad. Like we've always wanted to go to Carlsbad Caverns and I wish we could have stopped on the way. First thing he said is last place I would go with uncirculated air during a pandemic with a virus like this. And he even started in the beginning thinking this wasn't gonna be a big deal. So I'm just saying, be smart, okay, be safe. Um, I don't want people to be afraid of their lives or like hiding. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Wear a mask, be safe. Like follow, wash your hands. Like, you know, just like my father-in-law says, like, be a decent human, which I think you all are. I think you all are. I don't care what people say. You all are. Somewhere in there, I find it. I always find it. Find something to do like everybody eventually. Well, I hope you enjoyed my first Dear Kimberly. It was a little fun. It got a little mushy. I'm gonna play the breakout tutorial after this. And I hope you get to tune in more, ask me questions, get engaged. Subscribing's free. Um, check out my website to see what I recommend. You do not have to buy anything. You do like get a small percentage, but if you get a better price, please, it's a pandemic. That's way more important to me right now, okay? It's way more important. So I can't wait to tune in for you guys to see this Facial Friday. I've been working on it and work on the Connect Those Consults, which means my next step is I get to Zoom with them, which is my favorite part. Um, and I have some fun posts to come too. So I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay, that didn't sound good. But literally, I, I mean, this is on Tuesdays. <laughs> now you know what a nerd I am. And if you are too, come on in, because this is who I want to be part of my community. All right, I'll talk to you later.
Thank you.